Uh, this is lesson five, cooldown called Circular Logic. So we know that if two figures are congruent, that there is a sequence of rigid motions that takes one figure onto the other. We can use this fact to prove that any point is congruent to another point. We can also prove segments of the same length are congruent. Finally, we can put together those ideas and build an argument to prove that entire figures are congruent to one another. So these statements down below prove that ABC is congruent to XYZ. Let's take a look at what it says. Segment AB and XY are the same length, so they are congruent. That's literally what it means for two segments to be congruent. Uh, and since we know they're congruent, there is a rigid motion that takes AB, this, over to XY so that they line up perfectly with each other. If you apply that rigid motion to this, we would slide this over, maybe rotate, maybe even reflect, but it will line up perfectly on top. If necessary, reflect the image of ABC across XY to be sure the image of C, which we call C primes, on the same side, and blah, blah, blah. The point is, since this angle and that angle are congruent, and that length and that length are congruent to these, we can slide this whole thing over so that it matches up perfectly, and we can see that this figure is congruent to this figure. Now, how that applies to our cooldown, conjecture. This is like uh, an educated guess. It's like a hypothesis. The conjecture is any two circles in the plane are congruent. Now, do you agree or disagree with this conjecture? Do you think that any two circles in the plane are congruent? If you agree, explain how you know. If you disagree, edit the conjecture so it will always be true. If that conjecture is not always true, what could you add to it? How could you prove that two circles in a plane are in fact congruent to one another? Let me know if you have any questions.